U.S. Drought Monitor, January 8th, 2026. For all 50 U.S. states in Puerto Rico, the U.S. Drought Monitor showed 37.57% of the area in moderate drought or worse, compared with 35.9% last week. About 139.8 million people live in areas now in drought, compared with 117.7 million the week before. The past week featured above-normal temperatures across much of the western half of the U.S. Areas west of the Mississippi River generally experienced near to above-normal temperatures, with portions of the northern Rocky Mountains running 15 to 20 degrees above normal. Much of the west recorded more than 100% of normal precipitation for the week, with large portions of California receiving over 200% of normal. These warm conditions led to precipitation generally falling as rain instead of snow. Many locations continue to experience a slow start to the snow season, since snow is critical for winter water supply in the west. Farther east, above normal precipitation was limited to pockets of the southeast, Florida, and the upper Midwest. Cooler than normal temperatures dominated the Florida Peninsula, with parts of southern Florida at 5 to 10 degrees below normal. Cooler temperatures were also widespread from the upper Midwest into the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic. Parts of New England were particularly cold, with temperatures of 10 to 15 degrees below normal. The U.S. Drought Monitor is produced each Thursday through a partnership between the National Drought Mitigation Center at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Visit droughtmonitor.unl.edu for more. NDMC helps people everywhere reduce vulnerability to drought. Learn more about our work at drought.unl.edu.